Hi, I'm Tim and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech on YouTube. In this 100th video of my YouTube channel, we're going to be looking at some more Grandstream products. And Grandstream have kindly sent me these two products to review and to show you and to do some uh, videos on. So what we'll do is have a look. And here we have this first box, which is a Grandstream full Wi-Fi WP816 voice over IP Wi-Fi cordless telephone. And they have two cordless phones in this series. This model is the WP816 and they also have a WP826 as well. So what we'll do is have a look at this, get it unboxed, see what's inside and I'll go through the specs with you. But before we do that, we also have the second box from Grandstream and this is a Grandstream GCC 6010 and what this is is an all-in-one appliance. It's a PBX router and a comprehensive firewall all in this small package. So what we'll do is also unbox this and I'll go through the specs with you. Then what we'll do in future video is we'll get all this equipment set up on my test lab with the GCC 6010, the WP816, we'll get a PBX account set up which I'll show you from one of the suppliers here what I use in the UK so we'll get an account set up with them so we'll also bring in my GWN 7665 access point which I've previously done videos on so we'll get that into the video and what we'll do is set up a complete firewall, router, PBX, wireless access point, a cordless phone and probably also get the, another switch put in and we'll do a series of videos on that to show you what they can do and what this um, GCC 6010 can actually do because it, it really is, it's a fantastic product in a small package so this can do a lot in such a small package so what we'll do is get these all set up in a future video get a whole network set up so you can actually use it for your business enterprise home or lab whichever you want to do and you know we'll get that all done in future videos so in this video we'll get straight to the unboxings now so here we are and in this box we have the Grandstream WP816 and this is a cordless Wi-Fi phone with integrated dual band 802.1a, b, g, n, a, c and a, x and it also supports six hour talk time on the one battery charge. So let's take a look at the box. It's fairly plain packaging with just the Grandstream labels and what it, the box contains on the other side. So open the, uh, oh, and also there's the QR code um, to download information from. So you can use the QR code if you so wish. Inside the box, we have the quick installation guide. So here, just open up this leaflet and Inside, we have the phone contents, uh, power supply, cradle, battery, stand, and so on. If you can see that, uh, tells you how to insert the battery and so on. That, that's pretty standard anyway. So what we'll do is take a look at the box again. So inside, we have the cordless phone itself, the handset rather, and here we have it. This is a Grandstream WP816 model as I said. We have volume buttons at the side, there's also another button as well at the side. Hopefully you can see this. So there's a rubber cover at the top too, where you can plug in a headset if you so wish. On the back there's the actual speaker. And then at the bottom, we have the USB-C port. 
so that's a USB-C port and we have two metal gold connectors there where these are used for charging the device in the docking station so they go into the docking station of course the pins will be used to charge the device up so that's fairly compact well made feels quite firm and solid the buttons are rubberized but quite firm they're not soft so they have, do have a click to them if you can hear that so there is a click to them and there's a menu selection button at the top as well via this circle and then also the center is a button as well so looking at the box further we have the power adapter this is the uk power adapter and at the other end it has a usb c style plug on it and then we have also a belt clip as well and that just clicks on into the sides there at the back and there we have the belt clip on both sides and as you can see yeah that clicks in and that's quite quite firm so it has some uh, it's not going to just fall off accidentally so that will definitely clip on there so we can just release that by releasing the two sides and then that pops off so again we have the docking station so here's the docking station for charging the device so that just sits in there quite easily and that would be used for charging it so the charger would go into the back of the charging station like so and the usb plug fits in there cable goes through the recess there and that would sit on the desk then we have the battery as well so inside we have the battery and this is a rechargeable battery of course obviously and it's a bundle UGS01 and it's a rated capacity of 1500 milliamp hours and it has a rated capacity as well of 5.7 watt hours the nominal voltage is 3.8 volts and the limited charge voltage is 4.35 volts so that's the actual battery so it could actually be easily replaced should you necessarily need to but I'm sure these batteries will last a long time so that's basically in the WP816 cordless full Wi-Fi phone and it supports 802.11 A, B, G, N, A, C and A, X now it has dual band Wi-Fi which is what I just said so it supports the Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5 so 2.4 gigahertz band and the 5 gigahertz band and it has advanced roaming support two SIP accounts two lines so it could support two accounts and two lines on this phone it has HD voice dual mic design with AEC and noise shield technology and it's rechargeable 1500 milliamp hours battery as I said six hours talk time or 120 hours standby integrated Bluetooth to connect to headsets so it is Bluetooth compatible with Bluetooth headsets it has a configurable button for push to talk and also the type C port on it is for fast charging and also a 3.5 millimeter headset jack as well so there's a, so there's also an accelerometer and an emergency button on it as well so that's basically the specs for this wi-fi phone so we'll put this back and what we'll do is go on to the next unboxing which is the masterpiece of the gcc 6010 so we'll take uh, have an unboxing of that now so here we are with the Gradstream GCC 6010 series and it's a UC Plus network convergence solution. So let's take a look in the box and see what we get. So inside the box we have the SMB UC networking convergence wired gateway quick installation guide. So here we have the quick installation guide which is quite useful um, hopefully you'll be able to see this on screen but I'll go through everything anyway on the device so I'll put that to one side for the time being in the 
side section here we have the UK power adapter so this is the UK power adapter with uh, it's a DC 48 volt so we'll put that to one side and here we have the device itself and as you can see this is a compact device however this is a powerhouse in a small box now in this we have four products so this is a four-in-one solution now it's got a five port network switch so one two three four five ports there and also ports one to four support PoE out then we have two SFP module ports there which are covered with the usual rubber covers with the G logo on them so there's two SFP ports and there's also a USB port and then the status LED there. At the side we have two ventilation holes. This is um, passively cooled so there's no fans inside so it's completely silent in operation. So there's two grids either side. Then at the back we have the DC 48 volt input for the power. We have the reset which is the recessed hole there and also we have a micro SD card slot there we have the Kensington lock there and also an earthen screw there which you can connect it to the earth should you so wish there's also a grip there to grip the cable so you would grip the cable go in and then the cable would sit in that grip there and stop it accidentally being pulled out so the cable when once tugged wouldn't pull the plug out so it would grip in that cable grip there in the center so going back to this device underneath we have where it can be wall mounted or actually you can sit it on a desk because it has four rubber feet on it there we have the zero numbers and the product label with the MAC address as well on there and the password so there's default password serial number and MAC address on the bottom there so this is a small compact device as you can see it's barely just longer than my hand so it's just bigger than my hand as you can see and going through what this can do is we'll put that box to one side so this is a GCC 6010 series provides an extraordinary all-in-one solution that merges unified communications and networking solutions into one platform. These state-of-the-art devices combine the functionality of four products to provide an all-in-one solution that includes a VPN router, next generation firewall, IPPBX and network switch all in this device. Now it also supports SSL inspection on the firewall which is a great option on there I have to say. And this is has a three year warranty guaranteed so there's a three year warranty on this as well. So the built in PBX provides voice and video communications with advanced collaboration features. It has a built in firewall which provides antivirus layer 3 7 IDS IPS inspection, DPI so deep packet inspection, SSL detection and more. It also has a built-in VPN router that supports 2.5 gigabits or 3, point, or 3 gigabits to allow easy remote access. A built-in network switch with 5 gigabit ports and 4 PoE out ports and also two 2.5 gigabit SFP ports so these are 2.5 gigabit SFP ports and not 1 gigabit and it could easily be configured deployed and managed like with all Grandstream endpoints from one interface so it provides ad advanced security protection with encrypted fire traffic secure boot unique security features and more and also unique security certificates as well and it can be managed through locally through its own web interface so it has a built-in web interface as well where you can manage this device 
and all the client devices with it. And it can also be managed through the GDMS system, which is Grandstream's cloud system. It can be managed by a mobile app, local web, as I've just said, with the internal controller in this device, SSH and SNMP as well. And it has multiple WAN ports with load balancing and failover to maximize connection reliability. So this really is a great product in a small device, a router, firewall, PBX and switch all in one. So now that we've taken a look at those two products, in the next video is get it all set up and configured so that we've got the router doing the routing and internet connection, the switch. So we'll connect some devices to the switch ports and we'll also get the firewall set up as well and also the PBX, but probably not do that all in one video. It might be done over um, a series of videos, but I'll try and keep them as uh, entertaining and you know not too long as well. So we'll keep them as short as possible if we can. And also what I said is I'll get the GWN7 double six five wireless access point connected up to this as well so that we can get the wi-fi phone connected to the access point and i don't think we'll need a switch in this but i do have a grand stream switch which we could connect up as well if necessary but what we'll do is use the switch ports on these to see what this device can do and then we'll put it through its paces so i hope you like this video stay tuned for the next one thanks for watching uh, bye for now